Hi, Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. And this morning, I want to uh, demonstrate this card here. It is from the Winter Wood Woods Bundle from the Holiday Catalog. And if you have the Holiday Catalog, I think it's over here on page uh, 27. Wonderful bundle. And I was... Uh, inspired by this card right here. So I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to show you what's included in the bundle. Some of the stamps I already have uh, pre-set up because we're going to uh, stamp the tree and we're going to stamp this uh, large background stamp here as well as um, use some of these framelits. Now this is a wonderful framelit right here because what this framelit does is that it cuts out not only the outline of the tree but it also cuts out these little um, branches or boughs that you can lift up and it can give you some really pretty uh, dimension. And you can see from this card right here what I've done is I've kind of lifted those up and I've put this on the back of um, white glimmer paper very very simple card to put together and then I use some of the red rhinestones and this is what we're going to uh, to uh, assemble today so I'm going to pull this aside um, because uh, I'm going to need this to um, make our tree I'm starting out with uh, my cardstock at five and a half and four and a quarter. I'm layering it with a piece five and a fourth by four. And then um, the piece that I'm going to stamp with is going to be five by three and three fourths. Now you're also going to need another piece of Whisper White cardstock because we're going to stamp our tree and we're going to cut that out with our Big Shot. And you're going to need a piece of white glimmer paper. Here's the white glimmer paper that I've already cut out because I'm going to use that as my background for my tree. So I'm just simply going to put that aside. Um, the inks I'm using is I'm using the sentiment Thinking of You This Season and that is in Night of Navy and I'm using two green stamp colors, stamp inks, Old Olive and Mossy Meadow and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use that. You're also going to need your um, uh, dye brush and pad. I'm going to use some of this beautiful uh, frost white all-purpose ink that's also in the new catalog. I'm using the uh, textured weave ribbon in um, I think it's a uh, slate is my color because that's what my background color is and um, I'm going to use a little bit of our uh, embossing paste because I'm going to um, I'm going to add some uh, some snow to our boughs, and I've already started with this one uh, tree here. Okay, um, I think those are all the pieces and parts that you're going to need. Everything will be in more detail on my blog. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to use my Stamparatus and I'm going to bring my Stamparatus into place right here. Now the gods have smiled upon me and I happen to have an extra Stamparatus and I am offering that Stamparatus to anybody who signs up for the $99 Ultimate Package with me which is basically the um, demonstrator package so you get like $127 of product for only $99 plus I'm giving you a Stamparatus. So sign up with me and you'll get that free Stamparatus. Um, offer is good until the, um, the end of the month. So don't forget to do that. Now, uh, first thing we're going to do is what I have here in using my Stamparatus, which is why I really love this machine, or rather this tool, is that I have one plate that I'm going to use to stamp my tree. And since I'm using two colors, um, that's going to come in handy. And I'm going to use this plate to go ahead and stamp my background color. And I don't, I didn't pull my ink out, so hold on, let me go get my ink. Using is going to be gray granite because 
I believe that's what I'm using for my um, background paper. So now that I have that, let me get my microphone back on. Okay, so I believe we're we're good to go. So let's start out with stamping our um, our tree. So I'm going to pull this plate out, and I'm going to go ahead and just use this plain piece of Whisper White. I'm just going to set it right here. And the first color I want to use is Old Olive because that's the lighter color. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that over. There you go. And there we go. That's pretty much what I want. I don't want it. I don't want it um, as dark as this one. Okay. So it's okay if I have some of that light. And let me go ahead and clean and clean off this this stamp. Okay, so my stamp's clean. I'm simply going to pull this out um, because now I'm going to cut this with this die right here, and I'm going to run that through my through my big shot. Let me go ahead and close my stamp pads. Now the next thing I'm going to stamp is I'm going to take my background stamp and I'm going to place it right here in the middle of my Stamparatus. Like this. And I'm going to bring in my other plate. Now my other plate has our tree, our tree stamps, and I've placed them because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp here and then I'm going to pick my plate up and I'm just going to move it down and then I'm going to stamp again. And that way I have um, everything is aligned and it just makes for a lot faster stamping. So let me go ahead and um, stamp this up with my gray granite. Okay, and then I'm simply just going to move this and I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to stamp up my my gray granite stamp again. Make sure I get all my stamp and I do have a little bit of ink over here on the corner that I want to get rid of. And there we go. So I have I have both sides and I'm just going to put a little bit more ink on it. Okay, there we go. So now I have my background with my gray granite stamped for my card. Now, if I was doing a production, like I wanted this to be my Christmas card, I'd go ahead and take this out and I would uh, stamp another just right straight away. I can go ahead and I can um, stamp another another background. It works really, really well. And that's one of the great reasons that I like the Stamparatus and I think it's a really good uh, tool if you are, um, if you make your own uh, cards. Um, Okay, so I'm going to put that plate aside. So I have those two plates aside. I'm going to put my Stamparatus aside. And here is my, my background. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to stamp my sentiment, which is thinking of you this season. And I'm going to put that right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it with the block. And 
There we go. And that's done. So let's put that aside over here and cleaned up my block and put my block aside. All right. So now I'm going to um, I'm going to bring my big shot into view. And let me pull out. I've got my um, big shot with my uh, my big shot platform, my thin die adapter, and my um, precision base plate. And I'm going to go ahead and place my tree and my die right like that. And I'm going to go ahead and just run that through. There we go. And I just like to run that through so I can put my big shot aside over here. All right, so now I'm simply just going to grab my Eye brush. This pops out nicely. And I can just very easily pull, there you go, pull this piece right here. All right, so there's my tree. I'm just going to put that back in there. All right. So here's my tree. I've got some some white, but I kind of want to keep some of that some of that white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, mossy meadow. I'm going to take a sponge dauber, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to dauber. We're going to uh, sponge around the end of our branches here because we're just going to give them a little bit more a little bit more definition. Let me pull in a little bit so you can see that. And especially around here in the bottom, just go ahead and sponge that all the way around. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of sponge just a couple of little pieces and parts there so it's got a little bit more um, dimension. All right. So then I'm going to pick these up with my nail. Okay, I'm picking these up with my nail and I'm going to, going to kind of bend them up to create our bows. And I'm kind of just using the edge of my thumb and my finger and I'm just kind of folding them up a little bit, just kind of rolling them a little bit. I may have to pinch the tiny ones up on the top, but you can see now I kind of have them, um, them all kind of lifted up. Okay, so there they are. They're kind of, um, they're lifted up. So now what I want to do is I want to grab some of my uh, embossing paste, and this is kind of the frosty white kind, um, and I will have that in the annual catalog. But what I want to do now is on the tips of my little boughs, on the tips of my little boughs, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to frost those tips. 
I'm just adding frost, like I'm frosting the tip of a cake because this is going to be our snow that is going to rest on our boughs. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just scraping it with my with my scraper and just adding it right there. I wanted to do this as a Facebook Live workshop, but I'm having issues with my Facebook Live. If you've noticed or if you got a if you got a um, notification that I was live, I was having some technical problems. So until I really sort sort that out, I'm just going to have to go ahead and uh, produce a regular um, a regular video uh, for you. But I'm kind of anxious to do some some live workshops. Okay, look at that. There we go. So everything's got kind of a little bit of snow on the boughs. All right, we're going to let that dry. Close that up. And my handy dandy oops, wrong way. There we go. Okay, my handy dandy wipes here. And we're just going to let this dry. Now, I already have one that I did earlier. Um, and here it is. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to grab some of this ink. And I keep going in and out because I can't decide what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to grab some of this uh, frosted ink. I'm just going to grab some of the, and I'm just going to go ahead and dab this frosted, this frosted ink along those boughs like that. And I'm also going to kind of touch the edges of these boughs here. And you can see how nice that kind of has a really very nice effect. And see how I'm just kind of brushing that around like that. And you can kind of see how that has kind of embellished our branch. And we have a little bit of texture there with our snow. Again, I'm just kind of pulling, pulling those up. And there we go. So this ink, uh, I go ahead and I put, I put my brush in. Solution of Murphy's oil in water cleans, cleans my brush cleans my brush off so that I can brush again. Cleans it off so I can brush again. Okay, so that's put aside. So now that we have that, um, I'm going to show you the two versions I have here. So I have one 
that has the frosted that has the the frosted um, boughs and I have the other one that just has the plain snow so you have two ways to do it now the one that has the plain snow that I just did um, it's pretty much dry so now I'm going to um, start putting my card together the first thing that I want to do and um, um, I really like how nice and dark this this one turned out so if we kind of go back to this one um, it's really kind of nice to use your sponge dauber around the edges because I really kind of like that that dark um, that dark shading in there okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, take my brand new tool that I have here and we're going to pull out some of these red and I'm just going to go ahead and pick these off and I'm going to go ahead and lay some down now this has a piece of putty that's on the front that I can use to pick up a piece that isn't exactly okay so this is ruined I got this some of the adhesion came off that so I need to put that back on it's not working if it's sticking to my finger let me see if I can get this one right here and I'm kind of putting I'm placing these right above where the the bend in the branch should be and this is a really good tool to kind of turn those turn those up Okay, so there you go. I've got some um, some red there, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I use seven on this one, and I use six. I use six on my other one, um, but I just think it's gorgeous. So let me pull my uh, my other one in, and I can go ahead and do the same thing with this one. This is the one that has kind of the, the frosty frost. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on as well. So there you go, I've got these two trees. I'm just going to go ahead and set them aside because now 
we're going to um, put our card together. Oops. Okay, to put our card together, we're going to take our uh, our Knight of Navy. And let me just pull that off. Our Knight of Navy and our piece that we stamped right here, Seasons of You. I'm going to grab some of the ribbon, and this is the um, uh, the textured ribbon, and I want to put that right there. So I'm only going to cut just enough to go under. You know how I do things if you watch my my videos. Uh, I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to grab some of my tear tape and I'm going to use my tear tape along the edge here because this is where I'm going to catch my how I catch my ribbon to make sure that it doesn't come apart on my on my card. pieces of ink spots there but that's going to be covered as soon as I take my my white glimmer paper because my card's going to go my tree's going to go right like that so let me pick up the the, the um, tree that I want and it's going to be this one right here so um, I want to glue this on my card front first and I'm just going to be generous with my snail. Okay, just going to use my bone folder and fold that there. Okay, so now we're going to um, pop this up, or I'm, I think I'm just going to um see if when you lift that, that pretty when you lift those up it's going to it's going to show on your look at that it's going to show underneath your boughs that you've got this um this pretty glimmer paper so uh what i want to do is turn these over and and surprise i'm not surprised that the mini dimensionals fit perfectly on the back of this of this uh, of this uh, tree. Just fit. Look at that. Just fit perfectly in the back. It just makes things so easy. Here. Just pick up these little mini. Look at that. Just goes right there. Right there. So I just kind of want to put one, kind of one, two, three, have one on the bottom, right about there. Okay. And then I'll probably do another one right about there. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull these off. I'm pressing on is pretty much where my jewels are because I kind of want to keep those but again if you lift up your bows it's really pretty to kind of see the um, the sparkle underneath your bows all right so now that I've got that um, I am going to place this since it's already popped up I don't 
want to pop it up anymore. Well, I guess I could, but um, I want to go ahead and put this down with a piece of tear tape right here. I don't want to pop it up too much. Okay, so there we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that right there. And there's my card. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm just going to go ahead and take a piece and let's put another piece on the inside. I can add another sentiment on the inside of my card. Either um, Merry Christmas from some other stamp set. I don't have anything out right now. Um, but there you go. Thinking of you this Christmas. A um, couple of options. This one I heavily, heavily frosted. This one I didn't frost. This card, uh, this tree I did frost um, the tips. But what's different is that in frosting this one, and all I basically did is sponge sponge that. I just kind of made that kind of uh, kind of glimmery. Um, this one here I didn't frost, but I did put the embossing paste on it to give it the look of snow on the boughs. And then I basically did the same thing. I put snow on the boughs, but then I also I also frosted it. Again, I think um, just a really gorgeous set. It's not hard to make. I showed you how to use your um, your uh, Stamparatus and I really encourage you to uh, take advantage of my offer and uh, sign up for a $99 uh, package. There's absolutely uh, no uh, obligation. Um, sign up for my newsletter. Um, it has all the information if you're interested. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. This is Kat Chancellor, Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. Um, happy stamping and have a blessed Sunday.